Step one to getting inside is to remove the air horn unit uh, on the roof. Um, and the first one, right. So that then allows access to a couple of small screws uh, which hold the two parts of the body together. As I haven't got the uh, round and round uh, layout uh, indoors, just the shunting circuit, uh, in order to run in the motor I'm using the rolling road and uh, clearly it's straight from the box. The reason it's rocking a bit is because it's very difficult to get the uh, all four rollers uh, exactly on the wheelbase. Um, and there, that can run nicely for 15-20 minutes in each direction, um, which should help to free off the motor just a little bit. So that's one direction. Switch it back the other way. No problems at all uh, on DC control. They're running quite well. And I've already seen the lights uh, lighting up on the end. I'll swing it round. You may be able to notice some video that the lights are there. If I change the direction, the lights go out. Right, well, apparently it's necessary to remove these two screws which were under the air horns on top and a small um, Phillips head screwdriver is required but the tricky bit uh, is actually releasing the bottom of the doors apparently uh, and I need a blade for that now the instructions supplied with it uh, don't mention it, but these handles, uh, separately applied wire handles, are going to need to be removed because the body splits apart along uh, the centre line just below the windows and the uh, handle, one end is inserted above that and one is below that uh, and this bit, including the door, will come away so we're going to have to take the handle off uh, well, I've just done it on the other side, it comes off quite easily, um, just simply lifts out, put that to one side. Okay, it's beginning to come apart. Uh, I did manage to get one screw right out. Um, this screwdriver uh, loosened one screw, but didn't loosen the other one, and you can see the end of it is slightly wooden. So I had to use a different screwdriver. It's difficult to know when the screws are out properly. Uh, the machine screws are uh, not self-tapping uh, and probably into plastic. And so as you're turning, if you're pushing hard to keep the um, end of the screwdriver into the screw, then it's possible uh, that the uh, thread is just turning in its socket. It's not focusing on it, is it? Where's the autofocus gone? Um, anyway, that's two screws out. And this thing about prizing the bottom of the door away, uh, it's difficult to see what it's prizing it away from, but certainly it does need to be prized. So now there appears to be a gap all the way around and so I think I'm ready, there it is, it's, it's coming off now, to actually lift the, um, okay, yes, that's it. Um, I'll be able to lift that uh, upper half away from the lower half. Nope, they're not into uh, plastic. Those machine screws are into cast metal. Um, so 
you know that's a, a tapped socket in the uh, lid of this thing the roof uh, I've now got the casing off inside the casing there are two lugs here on each side which fit into these so part of the removal means separating from these lugs um, they're to the right hand side of the door in both cases and so I presume what's needed is just to depress approximately where the transfer of the crest is uh, in order to help ease those apart but perhaps the other thing of twisting a blade under the door does the same thing but I can't see anything specific to the door um, which is holding it in uh, once the screws are free once you're sure the screws are free as far as I can tell it's these uh, sort of bits here which are attached or clipped into something in the in the roof so that is the glazed upper part now removed and we can see uh, inside the vehicle cast metal in the roof part as well as cast metal in the base, base giving it its really substantial weight now the instructions are at photo 4 suggest that two further screws need to be removed to allow the keeper plate to be lifted up well on this model there is no keeper plate I can see the machine sockets where the two further screws might be but clearly uh, there is no need for the keeper plate uh, and that eases the job a little because they don't have to take out those two further screws I guess that would be obvious uh, and it's just a matter of being able to turn the little circuit board there over and already I'm going to have to look back at the video because in the process of turning it over here while I've been videoing the red wire there, the red lead uh, has come adrift I'm assuming that was soldered on if I rewind or look back at the video uh, I should see where that was connected so clearly and I didn't do it uh, those wires at this side have got plenty of play in them these wires here uh, a little bit on the short side great care that you don't break those wires off the uh, blanking plug is clearly visible underneath uh, and we should be able to um, put the decoder in phew what a relief uh, okay I've looked back at the um, video and as far as I can tell uh, that red wire was free uh, right from the time we uh, took the uh, roof off and there are no solder pads here on this little circuit board near where it would go um, so uh, there's video proof you are my witnesses that as I took the roof off without disturbing this because it wasn't held in by a keeper plate but it didn't move uh, I've not uh, exerted any pressure until I tried to pick it up and it looked as though the red wire at that point wasn't connected well, let's um, apply power to it before we um, insert the, um, the decoder. Uh, it is now running. I've been running it in for uh, plenty of time while I've been doing other things on the rolling road, but um, I'm going to put it on the rolling road again. Right, here we go. Managed to just ease the wires out of the way. So that's the 
plastic part with the seat. It has some brass frets at either end or uh, punched, probably not uh, punched out brass there. There was a little piece of plastic in the middle that was uh, not quite vertical uh, and I touched it to uh, see if I could ease it into the vertical. It's just glued in there. That broke away, uh, that little piece. They're not a problem, just needs gluing back. Uh, and there is what we see inside. Not a lot to see. We now see uh, the heavy die cast chassis. Uh, and the motor obviously is underneath there um, so that's all we see not sure I'm going to explore any further because I've achieved the aim of getting this out so that I can do some um, detailing on the interior uh, and that's going to be the focus of my action having taken the separated the body to get the chip in uh, and then reassembly everything is an experiment and in this case, um, the experiment is to use a low-cost red permanent marker uh, to colour the seats in order to um, provide some representation of upholstery and then to use uh, a silver gel pen. That's a gold one. Now oh, there's the silver one silver gel pen to pick out the handrails because there is separately applied wire grab uh, for the seats so the interior is quite well detailed I wonder how much it would cost to apply some colour to represent the upholstery and even to put a couple of people in in the manufacturing process um, given the risk of damaging things when you pull it apart. That's um, the four screws through their washers. To aid reassembly, I've just used a touch, a tiny touch of Yoohoo uh, on the screws, which uh, will hold those washers in place. My recollection is that Yoohoo uh, provides a joint that can be broken, um, so it will just hold things together. Um, so the washers don't fall off those screws uh, while I'm trying to reassemble it. Um, I mean, while it's like that. Um, but should it be necessary to remove the washers at any time, uh, they should prise off. When I took it out of its packaging, one of the wire handrails was uh, a little bit loose. And I realise why. Uh, it doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit short. It's not quite long enough to stretch between the two holes um, in the body. Um, so a little bit of judicious bending is going to be required. It's probably about, well, nearly a millimetre too short, which is, um, well, too short is just too short.